So, with- oh wait, I gotta take a deep rip. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. went from a 40 team to kill to a cage at team to kill with Avi and Rob in top 48 losers. So, ZSS versus Belmont. Uh, I think it's fair to say ZSS has an advantage, but it's not a super tough advantage, right? Uh, ZSS uh, got nerfed there at one point. She used to be good. She used to be really good. Now she's just pretty good. And obviously, Agi is actually the top seed tonight. Uh, it's surprising how they went to lose this so early. It would be even more surprising if they got if they did before top eight. So, Rob has the chance to make a slight upset here. Uh, Rob seeded um, number seven. So, it would be an upset by a pretty good amount. Agi currently in the lead, but Rob immediately takes back a shot. Good up smash. GSS up smash is so good. Ooh, good combo off the Paralyzer, using 55. Another one. Oh, the platform messes it up. I'm assuming they wanted another neutral air into probably um, uh, Flip King. Ooh, good back air. Oh, goes for it all with the whip. Hagi has been really good at getting back at on stage, though. I mean, Belmont is definitely here for the struggles off stage. So, one of the like key points of a Belmont player is like, okay, how long can you stay alive? Because like your character is pretty heavy, but like your recovery is so bad. Back row goes for it. Agi makes it back exactly. Oh, that was a crazy interaction. Good up beat. Yeah, it doesn't kill. It's not that strong. It's not that strong. That certainly is though the perfectly spaced uh, back air. It actually does more damage. E even in Castlevania, it actually does more damage. It has a critical hit system. But now that we're back to even, uh, ZSS tends to have an easier time building up percent with things like frame one jab and up smash and paralyzer combos. So it'll be interesting to see uh, when Hagi gets the space, how they go about take, making up that damage. Oh! Oh no! They forward tilt the wrong way. That was cool. Using flip kick, getting like a phantom hit on Agi, and then landing on the platform and being okay. That's crazy. They were at like 80. Characters, same stage. We going. Also, respect for the Simon pick instead of the Richter. Ooh, almost gets the full uh, ladder, but just misses, just messes it up at the very end. 
Ooh, jumps right into the axe. That's unfortunate. Still has options to get back, though. TSS isn't really a character that is a struggle off stage super hard. But, especially with Flip Kick, you sort of just can get out of the scenery for free if you really want to. But it is punishable. It is punishable. Ooh, paralyzer the wrong way. Definitely meant to be a beaver burst. Finally gets the spacing on the flip kick that lets him get around. Still alive, but definitely down in percent. Watch out for the... I was about to say... Jump? Oh, it doesn't get anything off of it. It's those moments, it's those key moments where it's like, okay, they used the resource and I fought them for it, so now we can keep going. Those are the moments where it's like, okay, it's do or die that I get this punish. So, because now you're stuck it back in neutral. And a character that has honestly pretty good neutral. Get hit by the cross, too slow of move. Also, uh, we've seen Up Smash like nearly evaporate from um, Rob's playbook. Oh, that was a smart down smash. Yeah, but we haven't seen much Up Smash or Down Smash, which are pretty good moves for Zero Suit. Especially in like these anti-air jungle situations. Well, not, not for Down Smash, but you get what I'm saying. It's been a lot been a lot more careful, but almost careless, carelessly careful, you know? Where, like, you're trying to play it safe, but the safety keeps getting you punished. I guess scared is a good way to put it. Yeah, this is the edge guard again. This paralyzer immediately spot dodges. And Agi's taking advantage of every hit they get. Up throw, finally gets a kill. So this game is looking incredibly rough. Even in moments like that, right? Like you just, you do a move and you immediately shield and they just, they just grab you because they know you're gonna shield. It's like these scared ops, look at it happened again. Put hit back on stage, try to shield, look, shield it again. Good kill. Huggy up too. So, reminder, whoever loses this is out of the bracket entirely. Uh, it's going good. Oh, a counter pick. We're going snake this time. Trying to beat out the projectiles with your own. Jeez. What is going on in other brackets? Uh, PC3X moved on. Uh, Jada moved on. Chironic is still in the bracket. Akadi, Lisa Ren, Spectrofin. Uh, Boku and Ducks are going. So, this matchup, very different. Uh, Rob has decided to just throw grenades and wait for Agi to figure out how to deal with it. Because the throw their throwing items tend to beat out uh, the Belmonts, especially when they're uh, not playing mid-range, but playing long-range. But once we got to that mid-range, Agi put on so much percent. Now that's something weird. Snake usually doesn't go for ledge like that. Immediately gets him punished. Tries to for the uphill. Good use of the neutral air. And Akita. That was a really good sequence by Rob. 
But yeah, commonly for Snake, the option is usually um, uh, go high and then drop grenade and uh, C4 and hope that they don't hit you. Maybe sometimes dare if you're like really feeling it. So let's see, match is mostly even at this point. E even back to neutral at this point. Shane is gonna push the corner. Finally going high. Jumping over the cross. I feel like Rob's cross awareness has been a little, a little unwieldy. Like sometimes it's completely, he's completely aware, and sometimes uh, these crosses are hitting when they shouldn't. This is the key to this time. Answer it again. This is it. Sets up an up smash grenade. Snake ledge trapping. That, that was a beautiful snake ledge trap. He used nearly all of his tools for it. Oop. Mix it off. And a hit stun from uh, hitting the site, hitting the Viper, allowed him to get a, actually a little punish off of it. It's only 15%. But that could matter, especially since Snake likes to trade, play for trade so much. Now that is a super specific station to have the um, down B fall off platform to still activate kind of with big way. Uh, we haven't seen Audi use it much, but it is something that you can go for. Ooh. Maybe it gets a tech chase, but grenade blows up too early. So... Oh, that was a crazy pour there, okay. Rob has a slight lead at this moment. Force and decides to take the force um, on me to approach. It's like, okay, I'll camp with grenades until you uh, find a way in, and then I'll up go. Get the forward air. Rob takes a game. Snake is very good. Okay, Russ, I don't know what you were talking about. Ludwig's tournament looks sick, though. I'm really excited for it. Town and city. Makes complete sense. With the less consistent platform, that actually makes it kind of difficult for Snake. Oh, Snipe to the Cypher. But Simon can also die very early. Ooh, forward air to up tilt. Oh, easy punish. Up air. Doesn't give it Nikita. No, the air does touch the ledge. Oh, no. This is so difficult. Rob is playing very well considering the situation. But like that I see it's tough. Oh, that could have been a grab. The dash tag. Oh no! 
They would have had that kill if that so they were connected. <laughs> uh. Dash doesn't kill. That's so sad. The grenade kills at 215. Yeah. Yeah, Argy has been playing more aggressive. It's been a lot more down tilt heavy this game. Back air, forward air. Yeah, he's definitely trying to get this set over with. That was a. That would have been a godlike Nikita if it worked. Forward air. Understandable. Augie takes it 3 1.